What's good SNS na kuaje kama kawa mimi naitwa Chris Favors karibu tena hapa SNS kutazama interview nyingine Leo napiga story na Viola all the way kutoka Marekani ni mwanamuziki tutazungumza pia kuhusu muziki wake lakini maisha yake kiufupi by the way ana ngoma yake mpya ambayo imeitoa ina uh, imetoka video moja kwa moja tutazungumza kuhusu ngoma yake pia lakini uh, kabla sijaendelea nikukumbusha kwamba hapa kwenye description nimeweka linki ya ngoma yake so unaweza kwenda kutazama hicho ambacho amekifanya kwenye hii ngoma yake mpya au sio Viola ni aje Shani mambo Shari salama Salama. Marekani uh, mambo ni aje? Ah, ni kawaida, mashtawaida, mishemishe mm. kazi. Yeah. yeah. Una kasta gani yeah. wewe? Michigan. Michigan. Yes. Michigan ni sehemu ambayo inakaliwa ina na Waswahili wengi sana ama watu ambao wanatokea uh, East Africa ama Afrika wengi sana ama ikoje hiyo? Ah wamechanga changa wote wapo mm. wa Africans Mexicans wote wamechanga changa Okay so jina lako ni Viola ama Violet Ah uh, jina langu my real name ni Violet ila jina langu ya msanii ni Viola ila Viola. they are almost the same yani Viola ni kama umefupisha Violet Okay okay na unamna gani tangu ume, umeanza kuishi Michigan miaka mitano miaka mitano yeah yani since nimetoka Africa nilifikia hapa na I'm still here okay Africa nasikia kwamba unatoka Uganda ama unatoka nchi gani yeye yeah, Uganda nimezaliwa Uganda mm. wazazi wangu Uganda okay unazungumza Kiswahili vizuri sana makuzi yako Uganda ama Kongo okay Umewezaje kujifunza yeah. Kiswahili kwa sababu waganda wengi sio kwamba hawazungumzi Kiswahili wanazungumza lakini sio kama ambavyo na kipiga vizuri kabisa. Ah, unajua mimi nilikuwa nafuatia sana na mambo ya Tanzania sis na niko mdogo sana. Mm. Niko na watch tamthilia zao zile za kina Kanumba. Hapo ndio nimejifunzia kwanza Kiswahili and then wakati nimeanza kuwa nilikuwa nasikiza sana music ya Tanzania like a lot kwa nikaanza kupata na marafiki wa huko tukawa tunawasiliana hivyo ndo nimejua sasa Kiswahili. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So kiufupi inawezekana Tanzania ime play part kubwa sana hata kukuinspire kufanya muziki. Ama ni nani ambaye alikuinspire kufanya music? Tanzania inspired me a lot because napenda bongo flavor sana, I like their music, napenda swahili sana. Mm. So my first thinking wakati nimeanza kuanza kufanya music it was because of Tanzania music. Okay. Ni msanii gani unamkumbuka kipindi hicho ulikuwa unasikiliza sana ngoma zake? Ali Kiba. Oh, Ali. Actually. Yeah. Okay, nice. Na mpaka sasa hivi bado na mshabikia ama kuna wasanii wengine ambao wanawashabikia pia? Ah, um, bado na mshabikia ila kuna na wengine wengi nawashabikia kwa sababu muda umepita, wengi wamekuja kwa music. Good music is everywhere. So na washabikia wengi. Okay. Tu, kabla tujaanza kuzungumza yeah. kuhusu muziki wako, tu, tuambie kidogo kuhusu uh, Viola ma Violet. Uh, like yeah. Violet ni nani? Nje na muziki. Ah, uh, Violet ni ya muziki. Um, uh, ni mtu wa familia sana. Mhm. Uh, ni mama. Una mtoto? Mama. Yeah, I have a daughter. Okay. And uh, ana umri gani? Chapa kazi. Ana miaka mitano. Okay, okay. Yes. Uh, yeah, ni mtu wa familia sana kwa upande wa Violet sana. I'm over. Nafanya kazi sana alafu I'm a family person. Mm. Yeah, hakuna there's nothing much really about Violet. Okay. Mtoto umempata kipindi ambacho umeenda Marekani kwa sababu unasema na miaka mitano na ndo muda huo ambao umekaa Marekani. No, nilimpata wakati nilikuwa bado niko Uganda. Mm. Kwa wakati nimefika hapa alikuwa ndo ameneza kama miezi sita hivi. Okay. Ya, yeah, so sasa ya miaka mitano mm-hmm. Kuna challenge gani ya kuwa na mtoto kumlea na kufanya kazi na music pia? Najua unafanya kazi nyingine mbali na muziki. Ya, yeah, uh, challenge nyingi sana. Mm. Inahitaji need somebody really bold because I've seen people wanaanza music 
when we were young, now I was trying to have a kids, but I've been pushing so hard because I need to make sure I find the time I go in the studio, mm. and then when I'm busy, find the time I go spend them total, and then I need to go to work, you know. Mm. And then, you know, like it's it's crazy, like I've been all over the place, but I try to to minimize some stuff. Now I have a schedule, okay. Now I find the time I can live it. But challenge me in this one. Sometimes I don't even get much time to go on a tour because maybe na in the travel, go na seven minutes. Sometimes I do na my shows, na in the in the uko. I'm sometimes na fanya kazi sana, so it's hard. Um, yeah. I try my best. Nice. Yeah. Na kama na kwanza mwenza kufanya lin a uh, muziki lini. Ah, uh, yuko ako ya quarantine mm. last year. Was it twenty twenty nineteen? Twenty nineteen, yes. Yano wakati lockdown mengi aizi. Apo mwezi wa sita, that was my first time living in Yaga studio. Okay. Then I could record. But wakati in the studio, it was not my song. Then I found a cover. Yeah, yeah. Nimbo ya nende. Kivurugi. I never released it. Okay. What is it? I wanted. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Scare the way I sound. Okay. Okay. Because when you go see you in, I look up. Sorry, me. The song that I did was a Kivurugi. Then wakati in Panya turned out good. Mm. I was still in the computer and I'm like, you know what? I think you should do your own songs. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So, pengine bila hiyo cover leo viola ingekuwa fanyi music. I don't know about that, but tangu before nimekuwa na napenda sana music, nilikuwa naimba kwenye choir back in Africa, go in Africa go to Catholic, so tulikuwa naimba kwenye choir. Ila mimi nilikuwa sijawahi kila ndio tangia kwenye entertainment industry ni kwa msanii ni kwa sijawahi kuwa zaidi mhm ila wakati ni kwanza na naimba like tukwanza nafanya karaoke sana nyumbani like na play beat za watu tunaimba karaoke na wadogo zangu kwa ni vitu nimekuwa nafanya since before but sasa hiyo kwa inspired kufanya makava kuna marafiki zangu ndio waliniambia waliniambia unajua unaimba you can do some covers kama hautaki kuwa msanii kwa nini kwa sitaki kuwa msanii mhm you can do covers kuna watu na waona wanakuwa famous kwa kufanya covers you can do that too ukasema oh i can try it so kaje nimefanya cover ile nikatokea vizuri na nikaanza sasa kuimba ulijisikiaje baada ya kumaliza ku record cover ya kivurugi like uliona na sound vipi nilisema <laughs> wow is that me you know it feels different you know unaweza kusikia vipi but sasa when you record mm. then unajisikia kabisa you you are the one in the instruments Singing, kama like those really good like that's me kisa ni kwa like you know what I'm going to do my own song mm-hmm. nice yeah. na na baada ya hapo sasa ndo kuanza song my official song ilikuwa inaitwa tushikane mm. that was my first first song ever yani kodi hiyo after the kodi hiyo kivuruge actually nilifanya the cover bin nilifanya kivuruge nikafanya na jeraha ya Abdul Kiba mm. for King's Music then nilifanya guys on bin so after that ndo nikafanya sayang kabisa uh, tushikane okay na uliandika mwenyewe ama kuna watu walikuwa nakuandikia kuna mtu alinisaidia tulishia ideas nilikuwa na namwambia ni wake anasema pana wake aito aito aya nipaka nyumba ikaisha na mpaka sasa hivi pia uh, kwenye kazi zako mfano mzuri tutakuja kuzungumza kuhusiana na wimbo wako mpya na ogopa unatumia waandishi pia sio Yes Okay okay Ma- Maisha uh, mm-hmm. Nani Yeah Okay yeah. endelea alikuwa anasema Yeye alikuwa anasema uko na niuliza kuhusu na ogopa Ah uh, tutakuja kuzungumza kuhusu na ogopa baadaye ndio nataka nikuulize kuhusu maisha ya muziki kwa hiyo ina maana ni kama miaka miwili kwenda mwaka wa tatu sasa hivi unafanya music Life ya music kwako ikoje wa pili eh Life ya music uh kiukweli is really theorize mm. like i said before kwanza kwenye investments uh nini ile ile uh, commitment it's not easy so you have to, to do a lot of stuff at the same time so sana mimi mtu wa kike nimepata mm. challenge nyingi sana yani like kuna wakati nilifikia you know sijakawa this hii mwaka wa pili ila kuna wakati nilifikia nitafuma one next step mm. you know cuz cuz uh, cuz watu nilikuwa na surround now na ni kuhusu music wengine wanazingua sasa ma producer ma videographer yani vitu kama hivyo 
Minakatisha mtu tamaa yani wanakutumbua sana hadi unasema why am i doing this kwa nini yeah ndio najikuta i love it out like i can't just stop what we're missing go is another way i can figure it out you know mm. but ni ngumu sana it's really hard mhm Uli umezungumzia kwamba kuna muda unapata shows unasafiri na nini? Zimekuwa zinafunguka sana hizo kwako kwa maana kwamba unapata deals za kupiga show maeneo tofauti tofauti? Ah, uh, nimefanya show nyingi sana ila zimoja sio hazilipi. Mm. Kuna kwa hapa tuko wasanii wengi ambao wametokea Afrika, yani wachanga changa. Mm. So waga wanaga wanaga hiyo hiyo tabia ya kufanya fanya mashow show fulani kwa huwa unakutana wametualika. Yo, nina show nataka uje perform. Sasa mimi siwezi kata sasa na kalipi ya hotel pale. Not like friends ila tunajua na Joana. Ila ndogo sana ndio zimekuwa kama gigs zimetokea nampigia wananibook, wananilipa bila na zingine tilip. Yaani naenda tu kama kusupport wenzangu. Okay. Okay. Najua experience yeah. ni kitu kikubwa sana. Nataka kuelewa show yako ya kwanza kuperform ilikuwaaje? Kwa mara ya kwanza unapanda yeah, kwenye stage. Yeah. Ah, uh, you was scared. <laughs> I remember the first song. Nilikuwa hata si mimi, nilikuwa najikuta na shika mic na kuta mic nimetoa kwa kwa ndoo. Yeah, I'm just dancing with Sonia and then I could I didn't put the mic right here. But it was it was a funny experience. But then it was a little scary because because the way what when he was a lot of people one of my friends ndo alikuwa ameorganize kaniambia we need to put you on the stage. Mm. Unaemba for a while how you perform so fanya kitu fulani kwenda kwenye stage watu wengine unaemba. So ukaipanga hiyo show yani it was like our show and then we perform. First song I was so nervous. Then nyimbo ya pili wakati watu wameanza kunichia up eh eh ndani mesa ah kumbe yake perform. Yeah. But yeah, it was a little scary. I was nervous, really nervous. Ngoa na sweat yaani yeah, mikono jasho yeah yeah but at least now uh, uko sawa sana yani ushazoea kidogo yani sahi oh my god like na kwa the sweet side the final I'm gonna get on the stage ushazoea the audience the ushazoea so right now it's more fun cuz i i like i know what i'm doing you know mm. and i've done a couple times yeah kuna wasanii wengi wanaotoka East Africa, Tanzania, Kenya, Uganda pia wanakuja kufanya show Marekani na kuna wengine pia eh, wanapita kwenye state ambazo eh, mnaishi karibu na kwenu, sio? Wamekuwa wanatoa yeah. hizo fursa kwa wasanii wachanga wa Marekani naona pia kuna baadhi ya wasanii wao wanapewa nafasi ya kutumbueza na nini? Ingawa eh, wapo wale walioalamika kwamba hawapati hizo sana na nini? Wewe kama msanii, una unaionaje hiyo? Um hiyo si siwezi kujua sana cuz uh, hapa watu sasa ambao wanapiana hizo hizo nini za kufanya mashow unakuta ni connection unakuta mm. wanajuana ama kama mimi MC ananijua na ni connect na mwenye show vitu kama hivyo ila watu wamekuwa wanapewa hiyo nafasi ya platform wanakuwa like opening wana open show kwa wasanii wakubwa wana ambao wanatoka huko kina Monaise Diamond mm. um, But I think it's a uh, it's a good thing what we can do for what to nafasi like especially my coming artist hata kama anakuwa wa kumfungulia show hiyo inampea nafasi watu wengine kumvutiwa au kumbe huyu naye anaimba you know mm. kama hivyo mm. but yeah, people are getting those chances to do those stuff ila sio worth it okay some of them kuna mtu aliniambia yeah. kwamba nyinyi mnakuwa mna watu wenu mnawashikaji familia na nini ambao eh, ikitokea labda umepewa nafasi ya kwenda kufungua show ya msanii anatoka Tanzania Kenya ama kokote kule unakuwa tayari unamtaji wa watu ambao unaweza kawaleta kwenye show na nini hii na ukweli ama imekaje kwako um like nimesema ni connections sana sana unakutaga au my mc wa hapa mm. ndo wanapia naga hizo connections like uh, like uh, for example huko mc huko na mtu ame organize show mm. na wewe unanijua so utamwambia wewe mtu hey kuna msichana fulani viola ni mbazi ya think pe nafasi yake hapa. Oh. Mm. kama hivyo. Kwa unakuta kama una huo karibu sana na hawa watu wa hivyo vitu, unakuta hawapati zongati sana za kwenda kwenye hizo. 
Okay. Kwa sababu unajua ni hivyo. Okay. Na kwa mfano hapa nilichokuwa nazungumzia ni kwamba eh, labda leo tuseme msanii kutoka Tanzania amekuja kwenye state kama Michigan na nini anafanya show. Alafu alafu akakupa nafasi wewe pia kwenda kufungua show. Ah uh, huyo mtu alinambia kwamba like you guys wewe unawezekana kwa na washikaji zako na nini ambao watataka kuja kuona viola anafanyaje kwenye stage na nini. So ni kama ina add something kwenye show kwa sababu tayari wewe unaweza ukaingiza watu kwenye show ambao watalipa viingilio na nini. Like imekaaje hiyo? Ah uh, yeah of course kama kila msanii kila mtu huaga una audience yako mm. so mtu akinialika obviously nitakuwa na promote hiyo show siku fulani kuna show mahali fulani kwa wale watu wangu ambao wananijua of course kuna pull up because wanataka ku support mimi yeah. so uh, asinge ni invite angepata ile audience yangu ila sababu ameni invite na mimi nime promote show watu wangu wameona of course wakikuja ndio ina muongezea watu pia mm-hmm. So there's no way unaweza kuwekwa nyie kwa sababu kuna hiyo impact pia ambayo mna, mnaweza mkaileta kwenye show. Yeah, of course. Mhm. Sawa, tuzungumze kuhusu ngoma yako naogopa. Umelalamika sana kuhusu mapenzi humu. Utaki tena. Eh, nini tena kimetokea vi jamani? Ile <laughs> naogopa uh, uh, it's kind of like over a true story. Mm. I mean, Yeah, ni vitu nimeshawapitia ila it's not like my current situation. Ni vitu nimepitia kwa sababu nimeo nimekuwa nao muda mrefu. Like uh, six months. Na hiyo video ni shoot like three months ago. Kwa nimekuwa nayo muda kidogo. So it's not talking about my current situation, but huo muda ambao nilifanya was the situation kwa ndani. Mm. You know, kuruga nilikuwa kwenye mahusiano ambayo ilikuwa toxic sana too much bad stuff and oh yani nagopa hadi ana ngopa ikatokea ila thank god siko kwenye hiyo situation tena ila ndio nimetoka in my remains by now okay ulivyoimba huko ndani ni kama ilikuwa athiri kwa namna moja ama nyingine is it true yeah it really did we we go through a really bad breakdown mm. a really bad one because ni mtu ambaye tulikuwa tumeshina muda sana ulikuwa na unajua wanasema kuna mtu anavyoimba uhalisi ama story ambayo imekutokea mwenyewe kidogo kuna kwa kuna hizo emotions na nini like una una, 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 una imba kwa sababu like ni kitu ambacho kimeku kinakuhusu how was it wakati una record yeah. it was hard actually because nilikuwa na 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 record because producer man kwa afanya naye alikuwa anajua situation so he was trying to cooperate but i was not cooperating because it come like when if i got a thing na kumbuka it is fit when i'm like hey why do i got to do this song i'm gonna say mama ni kiaje tu but i wanted to do it because i was like i need to release this song so it was a little hard but then because ni kitu ambacho nilikuwa nimepitia feelings is in quite pale so it was easy to express so yeah okay thanks Sa wakati tunaenda kumaliza nataka viola kidogo at least waonjeshe watu wa kapela hapo ya naogopa just a little. Aya <laughs> ya. Uh, Aha, uh, uh, uh-huh, tunzetu. Okay. Uh, okay, time on my favorite part. All right. Then the second and the second first. Nina. Kuni Tena ni atari sumo pala mazo matamu asali yaweza fanya ukawa kicha naweza pendwa sana ukaisi ndume pendwa kweli ndume wa kongo yo umemkabidhi tapeli Yo. Um, that's enough. Yeah, it's good. It's stop. Na nakumbuka nilikwambia kwamba wimbo wako mkali sana. So matapeli wote inabidi washindwe na walege. Waache kusumbua watoto watu kwenye mahusiano. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, uh, V, I just wish you all the best kwenye muziki wako na nadhani uh, next time tukipata muda tena tutazungumza. Najua una kazi nyingine nyingi zitakuja baadaye. Kwanza what's the plan? Mwaka unaisha huu. Um, 
Na tunawarko on the videos but hiyo zote baya on the 25th December na wezi kipi na inaitua just the beginning just the beginning, the beginning. wow I can't wait yeah, to yeah it's uh, it's a really strong EP na vitu vitu sana more of my personal life a lot mm. so what we are going to more close to me what experience are you wow it seems like you've been through a lot so nadhani tutavisikia hivyo kwenye EP <laughs> yeah mtavisikia yeah. yeah it's a lot of yeah <laughs> okay yeah. So share na watu sasa hivi hapa wana SNS unaweza kutazama uh, Instagram unatumia jina gani sasa kama Facebook pia Twitter TikTok sasa hivi Snapchat all platforms Um uh, my social media natumia sana sana Instagram ni official viola mm. uh, Snapchat ni viola v uh, na ni Facebook ni viola of course Twitter Twitter sisi tumia hivi sana so uh, yeah. yeah so my main 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 uh, social media is Instagram. Instagram. Twitter mara they want to reach me Instagram official Viola. Yeah. Okay. That's right. Nimekuwekea link ya wimbo wake hapo kwenye description itakupeleka moja kwa moja kwenye YouTube channel yake so unaenda katazame kazi yake mpya inaitwa naogopa. Wimbo fulani hivi mkali sana. Umemmsikia kidogo akiimba hapa lakini Uh, kutaka kupata uh, kitu kamili basi make sure unakwenda kutazama video yake video nzuri pia uh, audio pia ni kali ameelezea kile ambacho amekimba huko ndani ni true story ambayo imemtokea yeye mwenyewe anyway v thank you so much na kama ndivyo sema just wish you all the best thank you thank you for having me you're welcome we do it soon again. yeah you all you're, you're welcome many time yeah peace out all right bye bye Okay, mimi naitwa Chris Favors, nilikuwa nazungumza na V ama Viola all the way kutoka USA. Na una nini cha kusema nitapenda uniandikie hapo kwenye sehemu ya comments. Lakini pia nikukumbushe kutembelea blog yetu ya SNS kupitia www.sns.co.tz na kutufollow pia kwenye mitandao ya kijamii kama Instagram, Facebook na Twitter eh, kwa jina moja tu la simulizi na sauti. Na hapa YouTube make sure kwamba una subscribe kwa ajili ya exclusive interviews nyingine kama hizi kila wakati.